welcome to my channel in today's lecture session we will discuss an important topic of microeconomics that is bertrand model so for simple and precise lecture sessions related to bcom and economics do like share and subscribe my channel the bertrand model considers that the firms make an identical product but compete on price and make their pricing decisions simultaneously this model was introduced by french economist joseph bertrand in the year 1883 it describes the behavior of a firm in a oligopoly so we will discuss this model in detail in this lecture session before going into detail of bertrand model let's first discuss its assumptions it is assumed that in the market there are only two firms and both the firms are producing the similar product the third assumption is that the production capacity of both the firms is unlimited it means both firms can fulfill the entire market demand it is also assumed that the firms main objective is to maximize their profits there is no cooperation between the two firms and the last most important assumption is that firm a lowers its price assuming that firm b's price is constant and similarly b also lowers its price assuming that firm a will not lower its price this assumption forms the base of bertrand model so in this case the firms a and b compete by setting prices we will discuss this model with the following diagram here oc is the price ac is the demand curve of seller a or firm a and bc is the demand curve of seller b or we can say firm b a can sell maximum quantity oa whereas uh, b can sell maximum quantity ob in this case total output is oa plus ob as shown in the diagram if both the sellers share the market jointly then seller a will sell od and b will sell oe at the price of now seller b thinks that a will not change its price so in order to capture more market b lowers the price to of1 so with lowering of price the output of seller b increases to og this we have also assumed in the assumptions also then seller a is losing customers to b so seller a lowers its price to of2 uh, with this the seller a now increases its output to oh now seller b reacts with further reducing the price to of3 the output then increases to oi then again the sellers a and b will compete till both sell their product at o uh, which is the competitive price this o competitive price is the stable equilibrium in the burton model now none of the sellers will increase price with the fear of losing the customers they will also not lower the price further as it will lead to losses so this is what the bertrand explained in his model 